This looks like I. It looks like an exterior wall. I think it's. I think it could have been. So this seems to be the wall. This seems to be the wall that all the bugs like. Because not only did we find a massive beehive yeah. underneath the window going up to right there, we also found this. Like, what is that? <laughs> There's my pointing problem again. That way, there we go. A couple of days ago, the girl, well actually not a couple of days ago, ever since the weather has been getting nicer here in Tennessee, like we have stretches of temperatures in the 70s, the girls have been spending more and more time outside, which I love because that is the main reason why we went with more land instead of a bigger house. So. I love that the girls are outside using the acreage that we had bought, but it comes with a downside. There are a crazy amount of ticks, wasps, and bees all around our property. So we get bees sometimes that are like this big, that the hugest bees I've ever seen before in my life, and the wasps are no joke either. Um, but ticks pose like a bigger risk because if they get on you, you don't, you could not know that they're there. So now that the girls are uh, playing outside and it's getting warmer, it's more important for me to check them to make sure that they are tick free. But a couple days ago, Sadie said, I feel like I have a bump on the back of my head and it feels weird and it was a huge gross tick. So I had to tweeze that out of her head and today it, she was complaining about it again. Um, it's still kind of like bumpy and swollen so I have to make sure to look at that because I thought basically when I took the tick out that she would be fine. But we still have to monitor that situation because it's been two days and it's all like, it does not look good. I don't want to like gross you out, but it doesn't look good. So we're going to keep on monitoring her scalp to make sure that she heals properly. But one of the things that I want to share with you right now in order to avoid something like this in the future is creating a tick repellent. I thought I had more time, but I guess I don't. So I am a big fan of using natural products and one of those things that I use are essential oils. I have the diffusers going at all times of the day and the tick repellent that I am going to show you right now is made with essential oils. So if you have essential oils and you are looking for a product like this to use on yourself, your kids, your pets, then this DIY is for you. I have vegetable glycerin here, which I'm going to use in this DIY. I haven't used one of these before. I haven't used vegetable glycerin before, but I heard that it has a lot of great benefits for your skin. Um, it helps protect the moisture barrier and it protects it from like environmental threats. The oils that I'm going to use to get this done are in this handy little travel container. Let me show you. I'm going to use 10 drops of lemongrass, 20 drops of Terra Shield, and then I'm going to fill the rest up with water.
Okay, so that is how simple it is to make an all natural tick repellent. And I'm going to leave this by the front door, I think, just so that the girls remember to spray themselves before they go outside when they play. Um, always make sure to give it a shake if it's been a while since you used it so it's mixed well before you spray it. All right, now I gotta go track down the girls who are outside so I can spray them with the tick repellent. It is a gloomy day here in Tennessee. It, it has been raining all day and it is about 46, 40, in between like 45 and 50 degrees today, which is a big difference from the 70s, 70, almost 80 degree days that we were having a couple, not even a couple of weeks ago, like just last week we had 80 degree days. But I figured that today would be the perfect day to attempt to make my paraffin wax candles. So I may have mentioned this already, but there was a barn clear out that our neighbors invited us to, and most of this stuff would not be beneficial for us and our family. Like we are trying to downsize a whole bunch of things. They were trying to offer up some furniture that would not fit our space because it was too big and we're living in a tiny little farmhouse. But I did see this huge block of paraffin, that's only a little bit, of paraffin wax. And I was like, ooh, can I take that? And then she, uh, well, the person who was clearing out the barn had a ton of mason jars, like this, mason jars. And I grabbed those two have to clean a whole bunch more of those. Um, they all need new tops, of course, because they've been sitting in a barn for years. And you also have this sitting in this barn, which is, uh, if you have made candles in the past, you know that this is one of those pouring pitchers for candles. So I figured I have all this stuff. Why, I also have fragrance oil that I would like to use that I tried to, that I purchased from Candle Science last summer i made a couple of candles with them but then i ran out of wax and then we moved so it was not going to happen until now so now i'm going to try to make my paraffin candles all morning what we did we spent repotting our plants that will our little seeds that we've been growing for our future garden um, we've been repotting those in from the pods you know like those you get like the big cell container to start your seeds and now they've been growing so we put them into bigger pots. So we spent all morning doing that. I also repotted a house plant that I was gifted when we first moved here into this little pot, which I love, this pot. And that plant's going to grow a whole lot better. And my snake plant, Severus the second, is in a bigger pot and he's looking great. Um, so let me just show you how our seeds look right now. I planted a few more today. I've also noticed that I think I planted my tomato seeds a little bit early and my onion seeds a little bit early, so I may have to replant those in a couple of weeks. But let me show you how the seeds that are doing good look good, look so far. So I am actually pretty impressed at how well our seeds are doing, knock on wood. I hope they stay doing well and that the plants that we have 
the seeds that we have sowed this weekend will do the same. I have a whole stack of seeds that I am going to be planting as the weeks go by, but that's enough about the plants. Everything is looking good in there. Now let's get to making our paraffin candles. I am trying to accomplish a lot right now. I have, hold on, let me turn this off. I have pizza dough going in the KitchenAid mixer. I have homemade pretzels warming up in the oven. And I am also doing candles. Here, wait, let me show you a better view. So I am melting the wax right now over medium heat. So this is a cast iron Dutch oven, or you could use whatever kind of pan that you have. And slowly the wax is melting. And when this wax has melted, again it's paraffin wax, I'm going to put... I'm got the pretzels already. I'm going to put the fragrance oil in and then pour it in my mason jar over here. And this is a test, test candle. Based on how all of the paraffin wax was cut, I will be able to see how many chunks of wax that I need to fill up one 12 ounce mason jar. So we're doing pretty good. It's melting pretty quickly over here. So I have mentioned that I have never worked with paraffin before, so it was just enough to fill up that 12 ounce mason jar. Actually, I had enough to put in my wax melt container that I have over there and a little bit extra, so that would have been like a perfect amount for a 16 ounce jar, which is kind of shocking because I used a lot of paraffin. But it is going to set now. I used a beach linen scent and I can't wait because as it's setting now, it smells so good. So I really hope that when I light the candle, it will also smell so good. I filled it up a little bit more than I should in the mason jar, but I had a lot extra and I didn't want to throw out a lot of it um, because I don't have, what don't I have? I don't have a hot glue gun to use another wick so I decided to do what I did which is what I already said so I'm gonna let this set I'll probably have a pretzel and clean up a little bit as my dough sets for pizza tonight but that's all I just wanted to show you how simple making your own candle could be so there we have it that is how simpy simpy <laughs> Okay. Ta-da! It's fucking lame. <laughs> ah.